Hello everyone, this is Manipulator today with this beautiful lock made by Freediver72. It's his very own challenge lock, Kai, and I do intend to pass it on to the next picker. Made in November 2021, let's see what it takes to get inside this beautiful lock. I'll put my tension in and wiggle a little bit so nothing is preset, because I did practice on this a little bit beforehand. And let's see what it takes to get inside. I haven't opened it yet, but I do remember seeing a video on this before. So, not really remembering it though. I'm stuck on four. Couple of little, little clicks. Little click on three. Nothing on two really. Little click on one. Another little click on two. Nothing else on one, I think. Two, three, nope, four. Good bit of a false set on four, I think. On five now, I think. Yes, I am. Under rotation, got a little click there. Lost my false set. Trying to find where I lost it. Nowhere. Maybe on six. No, four. Uh, sorry, five again. Wants to move. Nothing on three. There was two. Nothing on one. Back in the back. There was just six, and we we're open. Okay. I'll take it. Sounds like, or looks like a good time. It's a really, really nice lock. It has really nice feedback and it gives, I don't know, it's unsprung so you can really feel everything you're doing really, really well in this lock. Just a joy to pick, really. Now, as promised, um, I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you still open um this beautiful lock face look at this really beautiful i'm not going to lock this do i lock this back up no i'm not going to lock this back up because um i don't want to unmummify the key let's leave it like this um we didn't need it so that's fine and i think i only have to loosen two screws here Make it sure not to take off the back piece here. Okay, let's see. Taking off the tail. And I think should be able to get a shim in there now. Um, the top of this lock is changed, so maybe there are there was some work done to the core. I wouldn't know. Maybe we'll see it. If we can get inside. Did I close it back up? No. Nope. Right? Or did I? Oh no. Oh no, I didn't. Of course coming out, so certainly did not close it back up. Let me turn it a little bit. I cannot turn it either. Hope I didn't break it. Maybe I did lock it back up. 
Hard to tell with the tailpiece removed. But no, can't be. The pins are at the bottom. Silly me. Why can I not turn it though? Oh, I think I know. I think I know. Possibly I turned it too far. And now the usual happened. The top keys or bottom pins, sorry. Yeah, they managed to get in here somehow. Come on, let me turn you a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Shim, 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 shim. Really don't want to ruin the lock. Is there a trick to this? Can someone tell me? I always struggle to get those shims in there. Okay, now it works. I really don't want to mess up this beautiful lock. Okay, that's looking good so far. I need a follower, which I do have. One of the bigger ones, I think. Let me check. Uh, it should work. Yeah, looking good. Okay, let's not drop out the key pins beforehand. Where are they? There they are. All right. Oh, that was lucky. Didn't know that was there. But nothing was bricked okay let's zoom in a little bit and or let's not zoom in too much and let's first drop the key pins out okay from front to back one oh wow already an overset trap two three another overset trap four five you don't belong there come on Cooperate. And the last one. Oh, really long one. Okay. Good. So far, so good. So let's see what we have here, where the magic happens. How do I do this? All right. Oh, wow. That's really something. Thin-lipped spool here. the springs out as well. Let's have a look at everything. All right, number two. Is quite shy. Okay. Second spring. Number three, another one of those thin-lipped spools and a spring. Next, wow, beautiful serrated, classy spring. Hello, good. Next serrated spool. Springs all seem to be the same. And the last one. What are you? A T pin. Oh, that's why you had to touch touch it last, I guess. Alright. Any magic in the core? Yeah, right? Looks threaded to me. 
Where's my probe? Yeah, one is threaded, so is two, so is three, so is four, so is five. And because they are all threaded, it doesn't even matter that I messed up the counting because this is one through six. Wow, all threaded chambers. And that makes sense because all of these pins have either serrations or are thin-lipped uh, yeah, spools. Wow. No wonder we had such a deep fall set with this beautiful T-pin. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Focusing on the pins here. Beautiful work of art. So we have a standard in one. This really nice overset trap. Actually, let me zoom you out. That way the focus will be nicer. And let me bring this closer to you. Everything for the quality. All right, here we go. So this is all the magic. And it really did do wonders. Look at this thin-lipped Wool serrated spool. Wow. I'm happy I used such a soft touch. People don't break challenge logs. Be nice. Try to do with as little tension as possible. Wow, this is a great log. Freediver, thank you so much for making it possible to pick this. A great log. I can actually go through the effectiveness. Um before we finish off, because this lock deserves every second of film I can give it. Let me just pin this back up. I love these overset traps. You can really see... Focus. When you go in... It's super easy to get this overset trap. Come on, focus. Super easy to get this overset trap to come out. And if it catches in any of this threading, you're basically done for. Matching up with the pins here. Super strong spool. Oh, let me not confuse this. So one, two, three. Wow, three is a really nice one. Four with the serrations. Five. Oops, no way. And the T pin in six. No wonder you have to touch that a couple of times. Look at this. Great serrations here in the fifth shimmer. Let me get this pin as well. So we have them all in here. Um, apart from the serrated spool, which also works. So I think all the pins are effective. Starting in the back, the T pin Obviously super effective. We had to touch it last. Come on. Stay in focus. Um, chamber 5. Really great spool. Got us into a deep fall set. I think I had to pick that twice as well. So it dropped down. Next pin. This serrated. Gave off a couple of clicks, I remember. The serrated spool, so I have to put that the other way around when I return it. Let me see if that is effective. Actually, probably more effective the other way around. So the serrations catch in the housing. Okay. I'll have to look it up, though, which way it came. Then number two, 
with this really thin lipped serrated great i'll have to look that up as well and this serrated spool these false set these things give off just great okay as i said freediver thanks again so much fun picking this everyone else have a really lovely weekend see you in the next one manipulator says bye bye